Hi, it's Dwyer. It's March 27th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk basketball. Let's update a hedge play. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I made a mistake here. In an earlier video, I talked about taking the Clippers on a futures play. I thought that they were well positioned. I thought they would run through the Dallas Mavericks who are defensively challenged. I thought it was great that they weren't in the bracket the Lakers were in and wouldn't face the Lakers until uh, later in the playoffs, assuming both teams advanced. But let me just say, um, I'm going to back away from those comments. The bet I'm recommending here, because you need leverage coming out of this round, and because the Clippers right now are a dumpster fire, is to take the Mavericks. Now, let me be clear here. I don't believe the Mavericks win it all. I don't. I'm just farming for leverage, right? What crypto people call farming for yield. I'm just trying to get leverage. So later, I have leverage and can hedge plays. I believe right here you're still getting great odds on the Mavericks who are up 2-0 in the series to win it all at 16-1. to Right? I don't know why the casino hasn't made the adjustment. Understand, the Mavericks won the first two games in L.A. Right? They now have at least... Three games at home in this series. And they only need to win two more games. Let's talk about why the Clippers, who say the right things in interviews, are missing something. Folks, you know, the Mavericks didn't play that well their last game. What do I mean? The Mavericks hit less than 55% of their free throws. The free shots. Right? Nobody's guarding you at the free throw line. The Clippers, by comparison, hit 90% of their free throws. Mavericks still won the game by six points. Why? Because the Clippers have stopped playing defense. What do I mean? For the game. For the game. The Mavericks, as a team, hit 58.5% of their field goals. Now understand what's troubling here. The Clippers were down one game to none, and they were playing game two at home. If this team was functional and not dysfunctional, the Clippers would have been motivated. They would have realized, hey, we need to get back in the saddle here. We can't go down 0-2 on our home court. Well, let me tell you how bad it is. Not only did the Mavericks hit 58.5% of their field goals as a team, folks, they hit 52.9% of their three-pointers as a team. So what I'd like to know is, what part of the court were the Clippers defending? Well, I'll just uh, say that something is wrong with the Clippers. This really is something that group psychologists have to look at, people who design workforces for the workplace, right? Clearly, the Clippers are lacking some leadership. I believe they realize it. That's why they went out and they got Rondo. But clearly they're missing the kind of leader who can keep the guys motivated even in must-win games. So I'm not going to play games with the Clippers. By the way, the Clippers are going off at about 16-1 to 1 now to win it all. Right? And this is while they're down 0-2. I'm not going to play games with the Clippers here. I just don't think the team this year for whatever reason, has the focus to win it all, right? They have talent on the roster. I'm not going to deny that. They just don't have the focus 
something is missing, right? So since I have money on the Clippers, you know, I'm not going to be hesitant here to hedge out the play. The bet I'm recommending here is that you get a taste of a 16 to 1 on the Dallas Mavericks to win it all. I don't expect the Mavericks to win it all, but let's just say that having an endowment on a team that's peaking right now, right? Tim Hardaway Jr. looks phenomenal. Nobody in this Clippers series, and I mean nobody, seems to have a clue on how to stop Luka. Right? Nobody. I think you need to hedge out of the Clipper play right here by putting some money on the other side of the play, the Mavericks, right? You have leverage with the Clippers for a reason. It's to use it when the sun's not out. Well, guess what, folks? The sun's not out. In Clipperland, quite frankly, the light, in my opinion, is not on. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.